You are listening to the Indie Rundown Podcast. Here are your hosts, Mike and Zach. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's another episode of Indie Rundown here with Zach Salazar. I am Mike Tula. Yo, another yo. Indie Review. Another Indie Review. And this is uh, another one via Fear Crypt. Again, if you haven't looked at their uh, YouTube channel, check out Fear Crypt on YouTube. They got a bunch of horror content on there, a bunch of great horror content. And uh, we are reviewing their sh- another short horror film by them, Stay Quiet. And it's a good one. It's a good one. Directed by Chloe Carroll, produced by Chloe Carroll, Wesley Mellett, and uh, Matt Hackler. Cast is Jacob Presley, who plays a... Uh, an intruder who seems very distressed by loud noises. <laughs> and uh, he kicked ass. This guy, Jacob Presley, he was excellent. I thought he, he reminded me of almost like an Anthony Jeselnik kind of guy. Just very... Yeah, I can see that. Very deadpan. Kind, not, 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 not deadpan, but like just very sincere in his quirkiness, if that makes <laughs> any sense. But this guy, the setup here is someone who's cooking... You know, a neighbor who's cooking, uh, you know, uh, played by, the, there's no name here, but played by uh, Gabriela Piazza. Uh, she is, she, she goes out to collect the mail, then all of a sudden somebody comes over and starts talking to him, talking to her, which is Jacob Presley, and there's immediately something off about him. You know, he's complaining about the noise, the train making noises. He starts creeping her out. It's just, I thought he was great. This guy plays a great, we're not going to give away any spoilers, but this guy gave a, uh, I like the idea. Someone who hates noise so much, he has to squash it. And, you know, I forgot what his quote. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually look at ex- the, the exact quote of what he says. All right, yeah, his quote is, you know, but please don't be loud. If you're loud, I have to end it immediately. <laughs> and it's so funny because we see a cooking timer go off and he grabs it and just slams it and bashes it on the floor. It's almost funny. Again, there's, there's a lot of humor in this one. There's a lot of humor in this horror film and that's what makes it so entertaining. It's akin to, you know, the same principle as a a little bit of quiet place uh, in a sense, you know, you can't be too loud, too abrupt in your noise or else he's going to have to eliminate it immediately. And I thought that it's a great premise for a horror film, man. What what are your thoughts? Uh, His eyes killed me. Honestly, that was my first reaction. The eyes. There's something about the eyes. The uh, sadistic look in his eyes was was fantastic. This dude's got a good look, pretty much echoing what you said a while ago, man. Just like so out there, you know, at, at not giving anything away. But, you know, he's talking about train noises and there's clearly no train noises and stuff like that. And it's just completely whacked out of his damn mind. But um it, it works, you know, it works. I, I'm, well, the whole actually, time there, I'm, there, there, are, there were train noises, though. Oh, there was. Uh, yeah, I was watching yeah. on my phone. It was, I could, I couldn't hear one. But turn again if you're watching this. Turn the sound up because the sound design is excellent as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rewatch on, uh, on my headphones. That probably gave you a, a, another experience. Though. It probably would have been funny though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But no, just the way he played it off, man. The the creepy like, like who the f- who the hell is this guy? Like, well, like he walked out of a mental ward, you know. But um, it worked, man. It worked, and. Uh, the actress, um, Gabriella, she was fantastic. Her reactions, you know, and I'm big on reaction shots when I watch movies, you know, or mainly indie movies. I like to uh, take note and study the actor or actress's performance. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm huge on reaction shots, and I thought they did a great job of capturing that. You know, it wasn't – the acting was good, man, just like their other one. These guys have – like I said before, they have a solid crew, solid actors. You know, the, the, the facial expressions, the chemistry – you know, when she was crying, it wasn't so overdone. It was, it was, it was perfect. You know, it was, she played it off well, like a normal woman scared in her, in, in her own home because of some nut job who walks off the street. You know, I, I love how he grabbed a handful of her pie and just started eating it. You know, it's just, it's just the little things like that, that make me, make, made me enjoy this. So, uh, well, yeah, you know, I had that same reaction. It was like when you're, cause you know, like when you're in middle school or whatever, and then like you go over to someone's house and then they're clearly their level of normal mm-hmm. is completely different from yours. And you're playing it cool. You're just you're going with the flow, but you're just like, man, that is freaking weird. Yeah, what very, you're doing very. or your habits are weird. What you're doing, like what the like that was this on steroids. 
And then the unpredictability of this guy wanting things to be quiet and civil, and yet he's walking around with a freaking knife. You know, th- that unpredictability was, I thought it was a very great setup. We're not going to tell you what happens. You know, we mm-hmm. gave you a good setup, but I thought it was very well done. And then shout out to uh, Chloe Carroll for doing an excellent job directing this film. And again, a, a, a lot of the problems that a lot of these, a lot of green actors tend to run into is they want to, they're so in a hurry to show their emotions. Oh, I want to show you I can cry. Oh, I want to show you this. But that's not, there's, there's that old acting tip, you know, don't, remove the focus from you, take the focus off of you, and just live in the situation. I thought this was like a real situation where an intruder is in someone's house, Mm -hmm. he's off his rockers, and she's reacting the best way she knows to react in that situation, given the circumstances. But I loved it. I loved it. And again, a solid six-minute short Yep, that was very entertaining, and most importantly, left me wanting more. So I thought that was a great idea for a killer. I thought it was a great idea for a horror short. And a lot of their stuff on their channel plays much in the same vein as like the scary stories to tell in the dark type of anthology books that we all read in elementary school back in the day. So I uh, I like their style and I very much enjoyed Stay Quiet. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it, man. I hope they come out with more. You know, I'm, I'm itching to see more content. I like these guys. Well, they will. And you should subscribe to oh, I did. their YouTube channel, Fear Crypt. And like them on Facebook as well, Fear Crypt as well on Facebook because they good. Yep, and we'll they spam really, we'll spam them all all over social media. They really good, and they deserve to be praised. Again, uh, if you like, if you have any anything that you want us to review on Indie Rundown, send us uh, email us. Actually, um, looking up our email right now just to make sure that we. Yeah, that's how Chloe found us, man. I'm glad she did. Again, email us at uh, it's the indie rundown at gmail.com if, and just send us a link to any of your shorts that you want us to review on the podcast. And, you know, we'll take a look at it. And if we feel like, you know, it's something that we want to share with our audience and, and to and to praise, you know, we'll go ahead and do that. So uh, appreciate shout out to Chloe for reaching out to us. And mm-hmm. um, we look forward to seeing more from her and best of luck to her other uh, short horror film slash, which has been making its rounds on the festival circuit. And hopefully they get into more that if you follow their fear crypt Facebook page, you'll see that they have gotten inducted into uh, their first uh, horror film festival, uh, Blood Bash, Mega XP's Blood Bash, their official t- 2019 selection. So congratulations to them. Congratulations to their team. And again, that, that's all I got. So uh, go ahead and like us at the Indie Rundown on Twitter and Instagram. Like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown Podcast. It's Mike. It's Zach. You got any last words? No, I'm good, brother. I just you know, I'm good. Good stuff. All right. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, man. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and on Facebook, The Indie Rundown Podcast.